Good morning. Welcome back. It is Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Hope uh, everyone's going to enjoy a, a car show or a cookout or a ball game or something. We're not going to be enjoying any NASCAR. The, they are all three National Series off this weekend. But we are going to, on the channel, enjoy ripping a box of 2017 Select. But before that, do have a mail day. So this came in the mail yesterday, Hero Card, from Miss Natalie Decker. So appreciate that from a Splat Hair Color. I believe that's her Arca Series car. And speaking of Arca Series, last night at the Speed Drum uh, was autograph night number one of two. And uh, one of the people that had auto uh, Hero Cards available was Mr. Greg Van Alst. So there you see his signature. And his son, who was racing in the Legends cars, also signed it. So I was able to pick one of these up. Talked to him for just a couple of minutes. And actually, Ark was racing in Berlin, Michigan last night. Of course, uh, he was in a wreck at Charlotte. His car's not ready. So unfortunately, first race of the season that he's missed. But I think if he gets things going again, he can... Uh, go back out there and have another strong performance so two cool hero cards i do have the other hero cards and such from the speed drum there's going to be more uh next week i want to get all of them together to have all the classes and get them all lined up so maybe do a video of that we didn't do one last year <clears throat> but things kind of got a little crazy with the schedule and everything and <clears throat> so but we may do one, we may not, but I uh, thought that was cool to see Greg Van Oss down there. He was down there earlier this year uh, with one of his sons with the Junior Fast Carts. And then, like I said, uh, the one son was in the Legend. And both cars are numbered 35 like Greg's Arca car. So anyway, 2017 Panini Select 1 Auto or Mem per box on average. We pulled some really cool stuff out of this, like those Purple Selects. We have a horizontal orientation, and we're going to zoom and scroll, and I'm happy that the focus thing's working better. All sorts of... We haven't pulled many inserts, so to speak. We have pulled hits. Ooh, and we're going to get... Looks like we're going to get an autograph, because that's a pretty thin pack. Generally, the hit has been in the pack there. Kind of a zebra stripe design. We always comment on how Panini makes their wrappers look really, really good. There's a few of them that are, eh, questionable. But we're going to start off with Ryan Sieg, Xfinity Series card here. like to see Ryan get a win. Of course, their team got a win with Eric Almarola at uh, Sears Point last week. We have Casey Kane, Purple Parallel of William Byron. Willie B popping up in the purple. Nice looking card. Ryan Blaney. Coke 600 winner. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. Multiple, multiple time most popular driver. Go to pack number two. See what we can pull out of pack number two today. And we're going to start off with Kaz Grala. Rookie card of Kaz Grala. Brennan Poole. Is this our... This might be our hit, strangely enough. So we're going to put it there. Looks like maybe a name that starts with a K. It could be another Kaz Grala. We'll see. A.J. Allmendinger. And Kevin Harvick. And then I'm going to put the... Put that right there. And we'll get to it in just a second. Uh, third and final pack. That's the only thing about getting an autograph when you uh, normally get a relic. You know where the relics are immediately. So we have Eric Jones starts us off. Ooh, up close and personal, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Is that a is that an insert? That is. And <laughs> that doesn't look like Dale Jr., but we know it is. With uh. His dog there, what's the dog's name? Well, not going to worry about that because we got an insert. Daniel Suarez is our purple parallel. Justin Allgaier and Paul Menard. 
so let's get to our is this okay so we'll just flip it this way so that we have it right side up Brennan pool and let's see who we got it, it is going to be Kaz Grala. So, Kaz Grala, signatures on card with the uh, number 33. And not numbered. So, uh, pretty cool. Always like when you get a little extra inscription there. Whether they put a, 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 a number or a smiley face or, a, or anything that they put a little extra. Just adds to it. In my opinion. So if we don't if we don't pull the autograph or a hit, I think that's car of the day just because we we don't pull a lot. Of course that Willie B is pretty sharp too. But yeah, Kazgrala auto on card. Card of the day. Not a great signature. Uh, one of the sports card groups. Uh, that I'm a member of on Facebook called Sports Card Nonsense. Had a post the other day talking about uh, who they asked. They, they, they were talking about NASCAR signatures. And they said, who's got the worst? And they named three drivers. Uh, Sammy Smith, Ty Gibbs, and there was a third, and I'm drawing a blank on it. And and my thought process, I, I, I know Tim Mosey had answered in there on it. And a couple other people, Logan Ward, I believe you answered it and on, on that as well. That uh, my, my personal thought process is because cursive writing is not being taught in schools anymore. Kids aren't learning how to sign their name. They, they don't take that, you know, the, the penmanship is really not warranted anymore. It's, everything's done on computer. You have digital signatures. So why should we learn how to, you know, write our name in a different font style? or different text style, or whatever, but I think that there's a lot to be said about autographs, you look at just, and we're going to talk about racing here for just a second, but you look at some of the best autographs, I think, you know, historically, you know, Richard Petty, Kyle Petty have had great autographs, um, just in my personal experience, Lake Speed signs things very deliberate, and very, you know, he, he's very, very uh, clean signature there, and you go to some of the other uh, drivers, and really of that era of the 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, before Kale had his health issues, his signature was always pretty crisp. Uh, Bobby Allison, Harry Gant, a lot, a lot of those guys took time to make the signatures, you know, their own. And even drivers like a Terry Labonte or Tony Stewart don't have real clean signatures. They're very distinct, and you know who it is. So today, you know, you have a lot of drivers... They just kind of have a squiggly line or a, a couple of initials. How much is it, you know, hey, I just want to scribble on a piece of paper? And how much is it that they genuinely don't know how to write their name in cursive? So, little thoughts there. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Like I say, enjoyed this box. This was this was a pretty nice one. I'm, I'm happy with what we pulled. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Happy Father's Day once again to everybody out there, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and come back later for our events and birthdays.